Good evening ladies and gentlemen, welcome along to the vlog. Uh, today I've been working in the kitchen at the brew shed, so I've been cooking uh, some meals for our lovely patrons that come in there, uh, all on my own today. So uh, it was meant to be our head chef's day off, but he ended up coming in anyway this morning to speak to some people for me and with me. Um, but other than that, I was left on my lonesome for service, so it's been a long day. Uh, if I spin around, every, obviously we're building, everything's falling to pieces. Look, there's a hole in the wall, but everything's messy. Just ignore the mess. If I spin around, you'll see the clock's backwards because I'm on the other side. The forward-facing camera, rear-facing camera, forward-facing camera. But it is quarter past ten, and I've not long got in. So, um, earlier in the week, we did some more work on the building, uh, which led to obviously these cracks appearing in the walls. Um, and then since yesterday, we haven't done much because I've had to go into work. I've got a couple of days tomorrow and then I'm on service for Thursday, I think, and Friday. And then I should be back at it. We've also had Dominic and Abigail's birthdays over the weekend. So um, I didn't want to make them do a lot of hard work during the birthday. So let's go outside into the extension and you can see things have changed a little bit around here there's something down there that you've not seen before and there's a new steel up here so let's just jump to the footage of me and Gemma putting this steel in which is carrying the ceiling joists and this is the last steel that is going to be installed in the whole building and then we've just got to reinstate more ceiling uh, yeah, ceiling joists or floor joists this way and then get the floor down properly and then that will be it all of this wall behind us can come down so let's just go across to uh past harry bruce 69 and have a look at how we did this where once there was a wall there is a wall no more well half a one so you can really see the difference here we're breaking into what was the toilet and bathroom next door and it gives you a good idea of actually how much room we're gaining so this was our tiny little toilet one door wide to serve the whole house and we're now incorporating that into a bedroom and down there that area will be the toilet which is considerably large it's about twice the size of what was the bathroom so today's job is remove this wall which is now supported Everything above is now supported on these two beautifully installed steels. And then down below, we have a steel running along here carrying the floor joists. And along this way, the floor joists run at a right angle to the new ones. So we'll either be dropping a steel along here because we have a spare one, because we took away the external wall up there. That, that one was to carry this external wall which is no longer needed so we could use that steel along here to carry those particular joists which are coming this way out of the wall or we can put a triple timber beam down there which we've also we've also got some timber for just outside on the deck over there so window is now removed Gemma's just running all the bricks downstairs See the toilet's still in situ, so push comes to shove tonight. I'll just whack a piece of plywood up here to offer us some privacy if we don't get further along. But ultimately, the task is remove this wall completely, install the steel. You can see the joists down there, look. Sorry about the radio in the background. I just can't be bothered to run downstairs and undo it. There's a joist. There's a joist. So we have to pick those joists up on this new steel and then we have to continue with this new flooring run it along here all the way down into that corner and then if i can drop down a waste pipe we can seat the toilet down there and then we can relocate the bath and shower down there temporarily like but we'd be able to use it so then we could continue with this side of the development without being too concerned about not actually having any amenities on site so there we go little update let's carry on with the old lump hammer 
So we're at the stage now where we're going to remove all these joists and we're going to drop this final steel for the building and this is going to pick up the original joists from the house and also carry the new ones and that means we'll be able to remove all of this old toilet here oh, the box ended up there look how small that little section is that's a tiny little lab we've lived with for all these years so it is time to say goodbye to it so this steel is doing a lot of the work at the minute and then uh, we have to break this section up quickly because it's kind of cantilevered there for a moment but it doesn't quite require a acro prop because of the design of the building it's triangulated there so hopefully this goes without mishap two minutes past seven and we've got a toilet reinstated temporary can't show you at the minute because Dominic's using it for a super cronk and down here we've got the steel in position obviously what I've not had time to do is I need to cut a cleat so 10 mil angle one for either side bolt straight through bolt straight through that's then anchored that side and this side I've got to brick up this section and this section on the outside as well up to about where this joist is and then from there on the external leaf I can come down this brick joint and we'll get rid of that section on the internal leaf I need to brick it up to that joist because that's carrying a steel above as well uh, but that's that and all the cables sit nicely underneath they go around the corner no problem I don't know if you can quite see them there but in they go and we've just got to reroute all the electrics which I think if I just yeah use a little bit of a section there I can get into the floor cavity by pulling the electrics across through there and then all this section then can just be uh, plasterboarded to the ceiling no exposed electrics at all we can then pull them down there and go that way wherever we need to and we can then send them that way as well plumbing is a little bit of a different matter um oh, I just tripped over the toolbox <laughs> so um plumbing yeah it comes out we can go into that corner there and up if I go up there, then I'm into the joist space, this side of the steel, which I'm only going to need to do if I want to put a sink along this edge or this edge, which I do. I'd like a sink in front of the kitchen window. Alternatively, if I don't want to run water from there and we're just going to come this way with it, because I could have another sink in the kitchen actually, but I don't, I don't see why I'd need to. Maybe some water to serve a, a fridge, perhaps if it had a nice built-in ice maker, I don't know. But what we can do is the water main is in that corner there, so we can send the water up. It's In fact, it already does go up into the loft space, and we have cold main there. So that cold main then can come along here on the internal joists that side of the steel and then they can pop round the back there so i don't have to drill a hole in the steel and then we're we're into this space here and we can go down there we can serve bathroom up bathroom down we can come along to this wall in the corner there where we're going to have a stud wall we can run down the corner of the stud wall and then we can run all the way along the back of the cabinets and serve a sink around the front that seems like the most logical route route even to get water to this side of the building and then we can punch straight through the back window there into that corner where we've got a soak away in that corner and we can have a hose connection and then that's that this has got to go then here you'll see behind these scaffolding legs we've got one two three four 
soil pipes waiting to be connected. One of those is just going to go straight up here. You can see the steels there. That's where the uh, bathroom's going to be ultimately. But then coming this way, where this final one is there, which is about here, beside my little radio shelf, we're going to go straight up and that's where the services are going to come through the floor for the upstairs bathroom. There's a lot of work to do yet, boys and girls, a lot of work to do yet, but we are getting there slowly. And of course, I can have a little workbench in here now. As you can see, I've already started to hang important tools upon the wall. It doesn't take me long before I turn something into a workshop, to be quite honest. Uh, I've just got to hang these lights back up and then that will be me done for the evening. And then also this section here, this pipe was from the boiler just to get a temporary flue outside, but we've disconnected the boiler now, so there's no need for that anymore. So we can actually shut all the windows and get it a little bit more warmer uh, during the evening, even though obviously at the front of the building um, we don't have any plasterboard up therefore we don't have any loft insulation therefore we don't have any insulation in the eaves so there's breeze coming through there all the time and that section's not finished and that section's not finished but it will be soon so that was a few days ago and uh this is the upstairs section now, where that wall was that you saw earlier on. So let me flip the camera so you'll get a similar perspective then to what you've just seen during daylight hours and uh, it'll make a bit more sense. So it is night time, so uh, as I said it's gone 10 o'clock so we've got these makeshift lights up here. Uh, and I'm studying what is going to be the new bedroom and here is that wall where the toilet was that you saw just a moment ago and this section and this section is now gone as you can see we've got water pipe services electrics in there main shower cable running up this wall so i've got to relocate a lot of this pipe work i've already taken a cold main down and across so we've got a cold main serving downstairs and then we put some of these floorboards in temporary just so the dog doesn't disappear to the ground floor by accident and uh, this has got to come back up when we actually level the floor so we get it to run through nicely and then uh, that section will also come up and we'll do that as well because the new build um, has, has got these steels in it means there is a discrepancy between the floor level of the existing house and the floor level of the new extension because of the positions of the steels and the steels had to go where the steels had to go to pick up the joists so we have to work off of that so what we're going to do there will be a partition wall following along this old one here so from there this side can be one level and from here this door into this bathroom can be another level of their own level and that can go through there. So we're only talking a few millimetres, but for the sake of taking all the existing flooring up, because of where the steel is, everything's raised slightly on the new section. So we can't lower the new section. You'd have to bring everything else up. It's not worth it. It's just a couple of millimetres on a threshold as you walk through a door. So nobody will really notice. And obviously, this is where the lavatory used to be. No longer there anymore. So let's shoot downstairs. Have a look where it's gone. There's another steel. There's the same steel. And we now have a downstairs loo. Uh, we've just used the door from the old toilet upstairs. And then... Bit of board here and a makeshift kind of enclosure just so we've got a lavatory while we remove all the plumbing and stuff upstairs because we have to instate 
uh, pipe work down here to carry the upstairs bathroom but we can't do that until the floor's done so it's a catch-22 situation so we've had to go for the temporary toilet option here you can see we've got a cold main coming in that runs down here is going to be a partition wall so it'll be in the corner we'll probably drop some other services down here as well some electrics and then off there we can tee off that way we can feed the kitchen with a cold main teeing off that way to the lavatory downstairs and we can also tee off there up or wherever we like up to service any bathroom pipe work and also we'll be fitting the boiler somewhere in here i think it'll be either on that wall above the toilet but if that's in the way it will be on this wall where the partition wall is with an extended flue pipe either going that way or we'll just punch straight through and we'll vent the flue next door because we do have some vents poking through that side of the building anyway and then this way you can see where we've had to uh we've put the joists in and you can see why we've got discrepancies on the joist levels here. it's difficult to see actually and then where we've brought the joist levels up to match the floor level we've got little packers sat on top of the joists just spacers to take that floor level up um to make it nice and even isn't that right reggie yes so that's another update from me and the pooch oh buddy you miss me aren't you i smell like burgers that's why he wants to be my friend isn't that right reg <laughs> anyway that's another vlog in the bag and it's really difficult to do anything like this at work when i'm on service because a it's a hygienic environment constantly i'm always washing my hands can't get my phone out of my pocket i don't have time to get my phone out of pocket because when service starts it's busy so um we might be able to get some footage in the kitchen at some point in the future but not while this project is running alongside it so you're going to be stuck with the build for a little while and then some more brewery stuff when we get back in there and then there will be some kitchen stuff at some point but until then thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one cheers <laughs>